I'm Dr. Ingrid Watson Miller, 17th National President. My fondest memories are of Jack and Jill are attending all the, the national conventions, especially the first one, because it was the chance that my husband and my son got to know what Jack and Jill was all about. I got to meet so many people in the organizations and I have established long friendships. Well, the interesting thing is that I didn't select to be a leader in Jack and Jill. I had been president of the Chesapeake chapter, and as president, I changed some of the, the, the things that were going on in the chapter, and the national vice president, Emma Jackson, was very impressed with how I improved the chapter. So it was she who encouraged me to run as regional director. So I became the regional director and I was regional director for four years. And as a result, I was then asked to run for a national president and I did. When I reflect on my presidency, I am most proud of the community service that we as an organization did. Uh, two uh, activities come in mind. One was the seatbelt safety project which was done throughout the United States to educate the community, especially children and teenagers, on wearing seat belts. We received certificates and letters of commendation from at least 30 governors. Additionally, we worked with the Census Bureau to do the census for that particular year and we received a letter of commendation for that also. I believe that what makes Jack and Jill relevant today as it was almost 80 years ago is the fact that we are working in the communities and helping our children, the African American children, to uh, learn about the culture, about the education, the service throughout the community. 80 years ago, segregation stopped many of us from being able to participate in activities. Now with integration and our children participating in all activities, they need to have Jack and Jill to have the African American influence because they're not getting it in the public schools or in their communities if they live in an integrated society. So I think it's very relevant and I think it will continue to be relevant as we uh, acculturate into the American society, we need to remember what we are all about in our heritage. What I love most about Jack and Jill of America Incorporated is that it is a family organization. It is an organization where I can work with my husband, my children, and we can do activities together. We travel together, we participate in all of the uh, meetings, nationally, regionally, and it was just a lot of fun and very memorable. When I reflect on the situation in the United States today, I feel it's very important that Jack and Jill continues to work with our children to make them leaders, to make them understand the political, social activities of this country. It is very important that they understand that despite the fact that they are educated, that their parents are educated, that they're going to be educated leaders in the future, they must understand how to work with other people. My dream for Jack and Jill and for our children in the future is that we will become even more powerful in the community, that we will be a buzzword throughout the community. I think it's very important that we serve as the leaders to help to establish the ground rules for leaders in this country. And I think that it's very important that we demonstrate that no matter what the situation is in the country, in the community, on the jobs, that we have learned, that our children have learned through Jack and Jill how to become the leaders that they should be. When I think about my legacy in Jack and Jill of America Incorporated, I think about service and leadership. As national president, I felt that it was very important that we 
uh, help our children to become leaders. And, uh, and to become a leader, you must be of service to all mankind. And that means that regardless of their uh, community, in order to be the leader, you must first give of yourself. And I hope that is what I left as a legacy. My one word for Jack and Jill of America Incorporated is education. I say education because we are culturally educating our children. We are educating them through service. We're educating them through special educational projects. And we're educating them on how to socialize with others.